easiest way to animate multiple subtitles in Premiere Pro is to do it this way. Have your clip ready on your timeline and then head on over to wherever your tools bar is and click on the text icon. Then you're gonna click on the screen over here and type out your first word. For me, it's I'm. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select over here at window and I'm going to open up the central graphics. It should then open up here on my right. Head on over to your edit. Now what you want to do is with it selected, make sure to tick this so that it's centered. It's going to save you a bunch of time of recentering text in the future. Then what you want to do is click on the horizontal center. Now you have your positioning set for whenever you're going to duplicate this. Then you're just going to bring it down to wherever you want. From here, what I want you to do is choose your font. So I'm going with Flama since it's really easy to read. It's quite bold, it's quite thick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color to yellow. Yellow is part of my branding and my theme. Oh my gosh, that's an ugly yellow. There we go. Then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a bit of a, a drop shadow, which I'm going to then take over here. And from here, I'm going to play around with it until I'm actually happy. And I suggest you do the same. Maybe pause the video here and get it just right for you. Once it's here, what I actually like to do is capitalize all my text. So I select this and then I'm going to increase the size over here. Now, what I want is for the text to animate in and then I want to replicate that across the rest of her sentence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually come to effects and controls. If yours is over here, what I suggest is actually just bringing it over yeah. Then what you want to do is you actually want to drop down this icon over here next to text and that will allow you to then play with the positioning and scale. What I want you to do is actually go forward a few frames and then click on scale and position. Then go back a few frames and change the scale down to 50. Then to zoom in over here so we can see more of the keyframes, sometimes your keyframes are hidden, you can just click on this icon over here to expand it. I'm going to zoom into my keyframes so I can see what's happening more. I then want to come just before that and I actually want to set it to 110. It's going to be more, so it's going to have a bit of a bounce effect. It's going to, it's going to come in here or maybe even 120 and then it's going to come back down to 100. So it's going to, so it's going to pop in. What then I'm going to do, I'm going to drag in and select all of these, right click and go to temporal interpolation and select ease in. That's going to make it a bit smoother. So then I have I'm and this is all personal preference. You can even set this to 140 if you wanted to and then it's a bigger bit of a bounce. Get all the bounce in. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to duplicate this to over here to the next word that you're saying. And then what all you have to do then is just change the text. Okay, quick pause here. Let's say you made a bit of a boo-boo and you want to replicate this across all of them. All you gotta do is press Command or Control C, select all of your text and then press Control Alt V. This option is gonna come up for you. I'm not sure what the exact uh, uh, shortcut keys are on Mac, but then you're gonna select OK and it'll actually duplicate all of your new time scales across all of them and here's the final product made easy nothing but so far uh, oh my so god about that plan. that's it that simple that easy what is your next step youtube shorts doing this in your shorts to get that massive views and audience retention so i'll see you in the how to make a youtube short video i'll see you there peace